This year marks the 28th Bard Music Festival. It's incredible to think that uh, 28 years have, have gone by, but uh, this year the festival is particularly interesting because it focuses on a very well-known figure, Frédéric Chopin, who um, is among, let's say, the top 10 most familiar names in classical music. So if uh, people know the name Mozart, Beethoven, Tchaikovsky, Chopin is certainly in it. And one of the reasons is because, unlike other composers, he had really only one medium that he worked for, and that was the piano. And since the piano is really the most universal instrument in Western culture, in recent memory, even down to the electronic keyboard, uh, the, the composer that in a way defined the way we think about the piano and the way we think about how a piano should sound and what a piano can express. Chopin, however, uh, showed that it was an instrument of the voice. It was a poetic instrument. It was an instrument that could sing it was an instrument that could tell a story. It was um, suddenly uh, an instrument both for the individual who was playing it, so as if someone were giving a monologue, sat at the piano and told a story, or if you were communicating to someone you loved, uh, a lover, a child, a family, a community, in a small living room like this, where you could sit at the piano and you could improvise and tell a story and uh, express your feelings. It became a kind of instrument that was crucial in making music uh, a kind of poetic um, medium by which people could feel their inner self. It became a spiritual form and uh, experience. So what Chopin did with the piano was similar to what happened on opera stage. So you have a simple melody, and then that melody gets elaborated and varied, and filigree, but the filigree is not simple decoration. It's an expressive medium, the way it weaves and changes. And therefore, the playing of Chopin has a lot of mixture of rigidity and freedom, a lot of expressive freedom in the right hand, and a kind of locked in left hand. So there's a kind of uh, mixture between structure and expressive freedom. And it allowed the piano this kind of brilliant, elaborative filigree ornamentation variation allowed the piano to speak the way you would think. You know, when your mind wanders, you take a simple idea and so you sort of daydream and it wanders. And there's some logic to that wandering. And it is with Chopin too in the music. So the styles, the fantasy, the ballads, the scherzos, they have a formal structure, but there's a lot of freedom and inventiveness and a tremendous amount of surprise in the way the story goes. Mm -hmm. 